Hey everyone, welcome back to the Elden Ring Sorcerer Guide. Uh, I have to come clean. I messed up once again with the recording of this episode, something I seem to do quite often recently. Maybe I'm going insane, but no, it's just a combination of doing PC games, streaming, doing Elden Ring, now Bloodborne as well. They all require different setups, so sometimes I just mess up. Here it was the audio thing. I thought something was wrong with my audio, and then I forgot to actually press record. However, Something that I maybe should have realized earlier is that the PS5 can absolutely come in clutch and save me when something like this happens. As the PS5 can record the previous hour of gameplay, or as it, it always stores the previous hour of gameplay. And that's what you're seeing right now. Now, the recording here is not perfect. I had to cut down some of it because of the file size. The other issue was that, well, is, is that obviously there is no face cam, but I think you'll survive without my little face in the corner for one episode. The reason I really didn't want to lose this episode is because I actually did do quite a lot of critical things here uh, that are important to the overall progression. The previous episode I lost, I was just messing around and dying a bunch in Kaelid, so I don't like care about that too much. But this one I do care about, so it would have been a shame. Luckily, it's salvaged. Uh, so you'll hear the commentary, everything else, as usual, just you will see the gameplay this way. Idiot. See, now I legit don't remember if that's like uh, something that always drops or I got lucky. That's 2800 runes. I, I, I can only say what I've said before many a times. The rune scaling in this game is super screwed up sometimes. Like, super screwed up. I don't know why. Like, that's a very difficult enemy. And it's nothing. He gives you nothing for how difficult he is. It's just so weird. That's what I feel a lot of the time, like, as I mentioned previously, that the rune slash effort ratio is sometimes... It just doesn't make sense. Oh well, I'm gonna stop ranting about that. I feel like that, co that this topic comes up like every second video, but it really is very, very noticeable. Extremely so. And I just don't know why. Golden Order Seal. This is the one that actually scales with intelligence. Which is good. People have told me that there is a secret if you pick up a spell, which is actually an intelligence spell, but it's a miracle, and you use it somewhere in the capital, there's like a secret. Which I'm going to try checking out, if I don't forget about it. I'm trying to be cinematic here. Good gesture. Bloodborne gesture, but we're it's a dab, but we're gonna skip past that. Cool. We need to go right here. This is something that I unlocked after a dungeon. Slumbering Wolf Shack, and there's a lady here with a wolfo who's, I think, unfortunately dead. I don't know which medallion this is. Oh, it's this one. Latena. 
I remember I have heard the name before. She she is obviously talking about uh, what's his name, Gideon, who's a bit of an asshole if you haven't picked it up. Fucking Michaela's Halic tree, of course. I don't know if I'm gonna go there, we'll see. Alright, cool. Poor wolf. But Lobo is immortal, isn't he? Oh! Latena the Albanuric. What? She's a spirit ash? What the actual hell? A rare case of one who chose to become a spirit voluntarily. Latena was renowned as a deft magic archer, but having lost her beloved wolf companion Lobo, she cannot move from the place where she was summoned. Okay. Bit of a trip, I am not going to lie. She just turns it. I thought she I, I thought she pulled a melan a melania or melin melina. I thought she pulled a Melina, but she didn't. She... This is something else. Good for her, though. Thanks, Latena. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use you. We'll just see about that. Alright. Next destination is up there. The reason I'm going up there is because that's where our next staff is located. If I remember what I read in the walkthrough correctly. Not even a walkthrough, but the wiki, more like. Thank fuck people have this shit figured out instead of me. Man, I would be lost. Oh, come on. Oh yeah? Is that how we're playing? Don't worry about it. We'll sort everything here. Yeah, there's a battle going on. If they end up killing each other, I'll just suck up their runes. As we tend to do. Hey there. Goodbye. This is the one, the Carrion Glint Blade Staff. So apparently, I heard through the grapevine that this is a pretty fucking good staff. First of all, it's upgradable. Second of all, it has like all around good scaling. It enhances some type of magic. I don't remember which one, but. Yeah, that's not the point. The point is that once we go past 40 intelligence, which we're actually not that far away from, this is going to be the glintstone staff we'll need to use. It's gonna be the one that is actually worth it damage-wise. All right. I'm guessing there is no other way to go but forward, really, when you think about it. Um, I genuinely don't know about the Draconic Tree Sentinel. I feel like, because he has a shield. And I'm a little bit worried that that shield is going to make him an absolute bitch to fight. And pretty much the only thing we can do here is confirm my suspicions. Uh, 
And I'll hit up the tree first. Get them mixed physics. But other than that... What the hell? Straight up Grim Reaper. I <laughs> did not know they can do that. What the hell was that? That was like the noisiest fucking truck. Don't even think about waking up. I completely lost my train of thought. Oh yeah. That was a bit of a surprise that they can fucking Superman themselves. But yeah, by the way, it would be really nice to get a... Start getting a plus six. Somber smithing stone. I mean, they're around. I think at this point in the game. You can start picking them up. Nice top hats, by the way. It's not even a top hat, but just nice hats. Cool. I think this one doesn't even have a... First of all, I came the wrong way. But I think this is a different boss. Winged Chris... This... What? This is all new to me. I did not pick this up. Uh, where do you see these? Yeah, there it is. Winged. Temporarily reduces equip load. Ah, I, for a fraction of a second, was starting to believe that it would give me that ability that they were doing, that flight thing. That would have been way sicker. Let me tell you that. Reduce equip load temporarily. Yuck. I just cannot imagine where that would ever be useful. What up, bros? Wrong spell. Really wrong spell. I was trying to use the carrion greatsword um, and just like slice through them like that, all cool. That did not exactly turn out well. Hey, listen, it happens sometimes. I was trying to do this. They're still fairly strong. Sorry to interrupt your little book club. How did that not kill? I'm so weak. Still. The fucking draconic tree sentinel is gonna demolish me. That's gonna be like one shot city. I was thinking that maybe sniping him is a better option. Oh nice, he can avoid. Thing is, that at least prevented his little minions from aggroing. Which is good enough in my book. 
I don't think so. And to return to my previous tactic. Gotta be careful of the death blight though. Cool. Give me them physics. Twiggy cracked and crimson crystal. I don't remember which one is which. We have, uh, what was it, Twiggy? Twiggy. Briefly stop rune loss on death. Oh, I don't remember that one. Oh, and that's the other half, so you can get your whole HP back. Yeah, rune death or rune loss thing is actually sounding fairly interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Let's just move on though. You can safely ignore these guys. Can't believe they just give you a stake of Marika for this. Um, what's the best way to start off here? I think with this. Uh-oh. Maybe he's bad at avoiding spells. No, he's not. And he does a lot of damage. As I thought. This is gonna be slightly problematic. Fuck, that does so much. This isn't even phase two. I mean, he's slow. I was worried he was gonna start blocking a lot with his shield. I'm dead. God, I, I hate this boss so much. Uh, we have to get through him, obviously. He's mandatory. And this is not as bad as I was expecting it to be, but man, I dislike this boss quite a bit. <sighs> we have to deal with it though. No choice but forward. I think that's about as good a start as you could ask for. Sniping him with this. And then we can snipe him again. And then we can snipe him again. And then he can fuck us with that. And I can use the wrong flask. I was on Cerulean. <sighs> yeah, this is one of those boss fights you just kind of have to... I don't know, like... I guess brute force your way through, but that's like a bad word for it. Just I have not found like an elegant way of beating this guy. So you can't get three of them off. Lesson learned. Yeah, this is this is about the point in the game where the Elden Ringiness really kicks in with the bosses, as in it's just one shot city. They're like, bruh, if you haven't upgraded your vitality up to this point properly, you can get fucked.
And he's fast too. See, I'm ridiculously fast. Shit. That was an accident. Hits torrent. So pretty much it's one spell, get away. Even then it's not a guarantee. So messed up. So messed up. I'm dead. No, I'm not. At least he doesn't block with his shield a lot. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be the main issue. That this fucker would block everything. Wrong spell. I forgot that doesn't restore HP. It does a shockwave. You're meant to dodge towards him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Maybe going for Torrent isn't even worth it. Just thinking about it. That's literally 90% of my HP with a single attack. How is that fair? And he has combos too. Ugh. This is what I was sort of not scared of, but not looking forward to. When I hit like this part of the game. And it's just gonna get more Elden Ringy as we go on. No, wrong spell. Oh, fuck. Maybe going off horse is a better option. Just considering. Because I can keep baiting him with that. Do we got AI loops? Maybe. Ooh, okay. Surprisingly, this is way easier without Torrent. Last time I definitely beat him with, with Torrent. If I remember correctly. Maybe not. Ouch. Just the damage though.
Damn. Oh, thank. That would have killed me too. That rock was a godsend. Is the flask? No, don't get greedy, idiot. No, no. No, I better not screw up here, Mr. Sketchhead. <sighs> He's done. Not the worst. Not the best either. Thanks for the weapon. Cool, we have our entry into the capital. Nice, nice, nice.